Brand new NBC News exclusive. We're learning that the U.S. and Mexico are preparing to announce a deal to crack down on fentanyl crossing the U.S. southern border. As part of the agreement, Mexico will target labs and smuggling operations in the country, while the U.S. will do more to stop the flow of U.S. guns making their way into Mexico, according to two sources. Joining us now is NBC's Ken Delanian. Ken, good morning. So just this month, Mexico's president sent fentanyls not produced in Mexico. ¿Qué pasó? What's, how did they go from that to this deal? That's not entirely clear, Jose, but there has been a lot of work going on behind the scenes between the two governments, as our colleague Julia Ainsley reported. And it's important to say that while this deal looks really promising on paper, it does remain to be seen whether the Mexican government can actually deliver on its end of the bargain. As we reported on your show, just after the Mexican president made that bizarre claim that fentanyl is not produced in Mexico, law enforcement cooperation between the U.S. and Mexico against the drug cartels is at its lowest point in decades, with almost a complete halt to intelligence sharing and joint operations. That's according to current former U.S. officials who say the Mexicans aren't even sharing the details of their drug seizures. And this is happening as more than 70,000 Americans are dying each year from fentanyl made largely in Mexico, as you know. Look, officials say part of the reason for this lack of cooperation is corruption. A lot of Mexican law enforcement is in the pocket of the drug cartels. But there are parts of the Mexican military that the U.S. trusts, including the Marines. And what the Biden administration appears to have done with this deal is give President Lopez Obrador something he can brag about, a renewed effort to stem the flow of high-powered weapons that have been terrorizing the Mexican population. Mexican law enforcement is often outgunned by the cartels, and they get those weapons illegally, largely from the United States. And so the U.S. is hoping that this will motivate the Mexican government to do more to stop fentanyl production, Jose. So, Ken, what on the U.S. side and their responsibility, because you're absolutely right, I mean, these, the weapons that are used in Mexico are oftentimes bought or, or at least from the United States originally. So what is it that you think that the American government could do on its side to, to try and, 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 and stem the flow of guns into Mexico? You know, that remains to be seen, Jose, but, you know, certainly the ATF would need to be deeply involved in this, U.S. law enforcement. There just needs to be stepped-up effort, and maybe it's more money and more resources devoted to this problem of guns illegally smuggled to Mexico, because it's a big one. And, you know, look, anytime the U.S. government deals with gun policy, it, it tends to be controversial, but this one shouldn't be. This is about illegal weapons going south and killing people. And so uh, the Biden administration has pledged to do more on this front.